Okay, we'll try and keep the questions fairly tight. Uh, and I think stick your hand up and one of the girls will make the way over. So I think over there. Quick question for Eddie. We have three Airbus uh, simulators and two Boeing simulators here. Is that a hint as to something that might be happening with your aircraft supplier, uh, particularly in view of recent events? And we had the uh, Airbus simulators. We didn't change the stickers on them this morning or anything like that. They're playing the line Airbus simulators. But they were, they're here to support the now the fleet within the right air group um, and that may continue to grow. Um, but uh, we, are, um, we are a Boeing customer um, and I think we will be still around for when the, the cycle changes on that in terms of a new aircraft order. But like we've got, Ryanair's still a growth story. You know, we've got 210 aircraft uh, on order, um, we're going to 200 million passengers and we have 60 of those aircraft um, uh, arriving this year. And Airbus is still, a, a, we've got the leases for those aircraft it's still in mode for a number of years, so they're here to support that as well. In terms of the next summer, what sort of capacity do you expect the air to offer overall? Uh, well, we should be, like, we will be, if, if I look at what we're doing at the moment, we've guided um, uh, close to 100 million passengers for this fiscal year. We haven't given any guidance into uh, next summer uh, yet, but we are recovering strongly in a lot of countries. For example, I was in Italy last week and we've recovered there already in some of the airports uh, for winter uh, 21 from 125% to 135% of where we were uh, pre-COVID. So we have more aircraft, we want to put those, uh, we're repairing our balance sheet at the moment, so obviously it's not unreasonable for, uh, to put those where we've got um, the best incentives and the best um, uh, the best way to get to make a return. So we are still allocating aircraft for summer 22. We're oversubscribed for it, so we're talking to uh, individual, uh, we're talking to governments, we're talking to airports, we're talking to regions to see where we can best allocate that capacity for summer 22. It's not over yet, but we're oversubscribed.
Yeah, I, I think that um, if we look at um, regional airports, uh, Cork is going to start it, 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 it's, um, repairing its, its runway at the moment, but unfortunately that, that crossed over with the sort of incentive period to recover. Um, but I think that if um, uh, we're in discussions with Cork Airport at the moment, and if we can um, get a long-term deal there, I would be reasonably confident that we could uh, uh, restore our base activity there. But, you know, it's about um, whether the incentive program that's there at the moment only lasts until uh, the middle of next summer. If that can be extended throughout the season, I think we would be in reasonably good shape to make a decision. I mean, when you look what happened at Shannon, um, Shannon were able to uh, come up with uh, a scheme to attract us to um, put two aircraft, two based aircraft there. So Shannon is going to recover much more quickly. So I think there's plenty of room to invest in Ireland. Um, uh, the airports of not Kerry and then north of the border in Derry and Belfast still have no air based aircraft. So if we, if we can put something in on a national level, I think we have a reasonably good chance of really expanding the connectivity on and off the side. Okay, last, last one before we go. Uh, sorry, Katrina, you might put the mic a little bit closer, very hard to hear. Sorry, pretty slow. Um, just Michael Leary indicated in the last couple of days uh, that price will rise substantially this summer. Could you give any indication as to how much they might go? Yeah, yeah, I think what's going what's to happen is there's 20%, there's going to be at least 20% less seats in the European market. People have been locked up for almost two years. Long haul isn't there as uh, an option and you know simply economics tells you if more people want to travel on less capacities but then prices can only go one way um, and you know people have put off plans for the last two years weddings visiting friends and relatives and uh, and we can see that already i think in terms of uh, people booking for the half term and the um, you know the bank holiday uh, all the bank holiday so i think that's the way it's going to go next summer Okay, um, we're, we're just going to wrap up the Q&A at that. Uh, Eddie will be available for one-to-ones for anyone that wants to do them post um, the, the walk around the facilities. Apologies for the noise, it's one of our sims has actually started to, to warm up um, so that we can bring you guys on a tour, so um, apologies if the, the sound quality wasn't great. Um, as I said, we're going to um, break into two. Katrina, if you want to um, take the media 